Hi, I'm Yasushi from ARM. Today, I want to talk about our research paper, The Establishing Fetch Directed Instruction Prefetching and Industry Perspective. This is an extended version of our IEEE CAR paper published in last year. First of all, I want to talk about the background of this work. As you know, instruction working set size is growing rapidly and it is causing extra instruction cache miss. To avoid pipeline stall due to instruction cache miss, many instruction prefetching techniques were proposed. These prefetching techniques, including software approach, dedicated hardware approach, or exploiting existing resources like branch predictor as prefetching engine. For last approach, fetch directed prefetch FDP is widely adopted by industry. FDP was originally proposed in 1999. This is also called as Fetch Directed Instruction Prefetch, Branch Predictor Directed Prefetch. FDP decouples front end pipeline into Branch Predictor and Instruction Fetch. And Fetch Target Q, FTQ, is added between Branch Predictor and Instruction Fetch. By using FTQ, Branch Predictor can run ahead without waiting Instruction Fetch. Instruction Fetch Pick predicted fetch address from FTQ and prove instruction cache tag. If the address missing instruction cache tag, the address is immediately sent out to memory as prefetch request. For timely prefetch, FTQ should be deep enough to cover instruction cache miss latency. In order to understand performance opportunity of FTP, we evaluate FTP by simulation. The framework models modern out of the CPU with idealized branch predictor like perfect BTB. We evaluated two configurations, 12 instruction FTQ to disable FDP and 192 instruction FTQ to enable FDP. We evaluated state-of-the-art hardware prefecture from Instruction Prefetch Championship. These prefectures are using 128k bus range. We also evaluate perfect prefetch as reference. We treat no dedicated hardware prefetch with 12 instruction FTQ as baseline. When CPU has no FDP, dedicated hardware prefetcher shows significant speed up over no prefetch. The state of the art prefetch shows 29.5% performance uplift over baseline. However, with 192 instruction FTQ, we observe 30.2% performance uplift without any dedicated hardware prefetchers. On top of this, we saw 2.2% performance opportunity by enabling perfect prefetch. This result demonstrates not only performance, but also cost efficiency of FDP. However, this result is a bit optimistic since the model has perfect BTB. In the real world, BTB miss can limit FDP performance significantly. In next two slides, I want to talk how BTB miss affect FDP performance. The first case is BTB miss not taken branch since it may collapse branch history. If the branch history is collapsed, branch predictor like Tage cannot make accurate prediction. To explain why BTB may not taken branch collapse branch history, I want to talk how FDP work with BTB hit not taken branches. When a branch predictor make a prediction, it look up BTB to find branch. If the branch is identified in BTB for not taken branches, the branch history is updated based on this not taken branch information. This update needs to be done speculatively before next prediction. After prediction is completed, CPU pipeline works as usual, and eventually the branch is executed and verified. If the branch prediction result is correct, speculatively updated history is now treated as committed branch history. On the other hand, if the branch missing BTB, branch predictor cannot update branch history because branch location cannot be identified in branch predictor. If the actual direction is also not taken, the pipeline treats the prediction as correct, as we saw in BTB hit case. After branch execution, CPU holds the branch history without not taking information. Collectively, CPU has no chance to update branch history for BTB means not taken branches without having pipeline stall or pipeline flash. The other issue is BTB miss taken branch. As I mentioned in last slide, FTP rely on BTB to identify branch location. If a given branch missing BTB, the branch predictor cannot identify branch location nor branch target. 
Typically, such a branch is treated as not taken regardless of branch direction predictor output. If the branch is marked as not taken for actual taken branch, the branch misprediction will be detected during execution time and the pipeline flash due to branch misprediction is initiated. This additional branch misprediction can hurt performance. As I talked in last two slides, mitigating performance penalty due to BTB miss is important to improve FDP performance. However, we found that the industry and the academia chose different approach for this issue. Academic research trend is adding extra optimization without extending BTB capacity. For example, in order to minimize BTB miss, many research papers propose to use BTB prefetching. On the other hand, industry trend is simply extending BTB capacity. The table in this slide shows the BTB capacity used in recent research papers and the commercial processors. As shown in this table, academic papers are using about 2,000 entry BTB, while commercial processors are using much bigger BTB. We also found that the couple of key optimization for FTP were missing in recent research papers. We think this divergence happened because the community did not share the common baseline microarchitecture for FDP. For setting a new baseline microarchitecture for FDP, we propose comprehensive front-end design for FDP. This front-end microarchitecture contains two key optimizations to mitigate performance issues due to BTB miss. First optimization is taking only branch history instead of branch direction history to address BTB miss not taken branches. Second optimization is post-fetch collection PFC to address BTB miss taken branches. I want to talk about the detail of each optimization in next two slides. The first optimization is taken only branch history. As I talked in this presentation, BTB means not taken branch may collapse branch history because CPU has no chance to update branch history for such not taken branches. Basically, there are two possible options to solve this issue. First option is somehow detecting all branch in the branch prediction pipeline by flushing or stalling of pipeline. Basic block-oriented BTB is one of the representative techniques to realize this option. This microarchitecture modifies BTB structure to precisely identify BTB miss for not taken branches. Second option is ignoring branch history for not taken branches. Actually, many offshore or unofficial publications imply existing commercial processor already chose this option. Therefore, we propose to apply take only branch target history instead of branch direction history in this presentation. The table in this slide summarizes how take only branch history behaves compared with other possible branch history management. As you can see in this table, branch direction history may need to store the pipeline or afford corrupted branch history, while take only history can realize consistent branch history without injecting pipeline store. Taking only branch history has an advantage for BTB allocation too, because it needs to allocate only taken branches. The other optimization is post fetch collection PFC to address BTB miss taken branches. As you know, the branch direction prediction accuracy has improved significantly after FDP was proposed. We found that such modern direction predictor like TAGE can make accurate prediction even for BTB miss branches. Post-fetch collection PFC will simply exploit this accurate direction predictor to change the direction of BTB miss branches. The mechanism is very simple. The branch direction predictor makes prediction for all instruction bytes in branch prediction pipeline. This behavior is natural if the BTB access and the branch direction predictor access is overlapped. Then the predicted direction was saved in FTQ. Instruction fetch pick this prediction during instruction cache access and try to find BTB miss predicted taken branches. If the pipeline detects such a branch, front end immediately initiate pipeline flash to collect subsequent control flow. By doing this collection, the pipeline does not need to wait branch execution if the branch predictor output is collect. We evaluated proposed comprehensive front end design by simulation. We used ChampSim for our evaluation. We added all branch predictor resources like BTB, and we implement our proposed front-end design on top of that. In our evaluation, we used two-entry FTQ to disable FDP 
and 24 entry FTQ to enable FDP. One FTQ entry can cover an aligned 32 byte block, therefore, two entry FTQ can cover up to 16 instructions, and 24 FTQ can cover up to 192 instructions, respectively. We treat no hardware prefetch with two entry FTQ as baseline. We evaluate 50 public traces from instruction prefetching championship. These traces come from multiple different applications like client, server, and spec. Perfect instruction cache shows minimum 5% speed up over baseline. We evaluate top three instruction prefetchers from championship, finalist, and perfect prefetch as comparison. The slide shows other miscellaneous parameters. As I mentioned in last slide, we model all branch prediction resources. We are using 8000 entry BTB by default. The first evaluation result is IPC improvement. This chart is almost the same with what I presented in the beginning of this presentation. For this evaluation result, we removed all uh, optimism in branch predictor. For example, this result is using 8000 entry BTB while limit study used perfect BTB. As we saw in the limit study, the state of the art instruction prefetcher shows the performance close to that of perfect prefetch. However, FTP with a dedicated prefetcher outperformed this number. The performance opportunity for perfect prefetch on top of FDP is about 5%. This result indicates that the branch prediction realism did not change the story of our limit study. I want to break down how each optimization affects performance in next two slides. The first one is performance impact of take-only history. This slide contains two charts, speed up and branch prediction accuracy. Each bar is associated with take-only history, branch direction history with magic update, and the branch direction history with basic block-oriented BTB Qbrand configuration. For branch direction history with magic update, BTB miss not taken branch are magically identified, and it can update branch history without any extra penalty. For basic block-oriented BTB, BTB miss will cause front-end store until the branch is identified in the front-end. As you can see in this chart, taking only history achieve almost the same branch prediction accuracy compared with branch direction history with magic update. This demonstrated that taking only history can show good enough branch prediction accuracy. On the other hand, basic broad oriented BTB shows lower performance and high branch miss prediction rate. Because of pipeline install due to BTB miss and BTB pollution, due to BTB allocation policy. This slide explains the performance impact of post-fetch collection for conditional branches. Similar to last slide, we evaluated both speedup and prediction accuracy. We evaluated different BTB sites from 1K entry to 32 entry to measure performance impact. For 8K entry BTB, we saw 25% misprediction reduction and 2.4% speedup in this result. This performance improvement is emphasized in smaller BTB. For 1K entry BTB, we saw 75% misprediction reduction and 9.3% performance improvement by PFC. On the other hand, PFC did not improve performance for larger BTB. The last data from our presentation is the correlation between iCache MPKI and the speed up by prefectures. When the FDP is disabled, we saw significant speed up for the traces with high iCash MPKI. However, with FDP enabled, same trace shows very limited performance uplift. On the other hand, we saw good performance improvement close to 20% for the traces with moderate iCash miscount. Actually, these traces contain hard to predict branches and it prevents FDP from prefetching future control flow accurately. Future instruction prefetch research may need to focus on this type of application, which cannot be predicted by FDP efficiently. Now, I want to summarize my presentation. Fetch directed prefetch is widely adopted technique in the real world. However, the community might not have enough discussion how to build it. This caused the divergence of research direction in the industry and the academia. To bridge the gap, we propose new baseline microarchitecture for FDP 
This microarchitecture contains two optimizations to address BTB misbranches. Our optimized microarchitecture could achieve close to state-of-the-art prefetch performance without any extra dedicated hardware prefetchers. We hope our work helps to converge the future research direction. Thank you very much for listening.